everyone! This is a bit of an impromptu video today. I ended up going to the art shop, which is always dangerous. <laughs> so I thought I'd show you what I bought today. And what I had was some Christmas money that was burning a hole in my wallet. So what better place to go than the art shop to buy all sorts of delightful treats? So what did I get? Well, first of all, just a few bits and pieces. That's a crackly bag. I went and bought some spare pencils from my Prismacolor Premier pencil set. I have all 150 of them, but I've been using them a lot lately and I've started to run out of a few colours, or at least run low on them. So I just bought the replacements. I went through my set and just saw the ones which were a little bit lower or a lot lower than the other ones and got some extra ones especially this lime peel this one I've been using this pencil a lot <laughs> so I thought I'd better get some before I run out because there really is nothing more annoying than when you're in the middle of a project and then you run out of stuff ah worst thing ever so there's a few colors there I'll just show you that bag over there for a minute we can lay them there. Now I moved all my Prismacolors into um, one of these little zippy pencil cases. Just lay them down there so you can see some of the ones that I've been using quite a lot of that Scarlet Lake. I hope so because that's the one I bought. Yeah Scarlet Lake. So that's the original size. I probably used, well oh, let's have a look. Not that much really but I don't know. I don't know if you're like me that it gets really annoying when you've got a pencil that's just so much shorter than all the other pencils around that just bothers me. It bothers my need for aesthetics. That's the lime pill and it's very very blunt. I need to sharpen these. You can see a few that I really really need to sharpen so that's another one that I've got a replacement for. I tend to go through the light aqua a lot. I really like that colour. And yeah. I got another dark umber as well so just a few replacements for when I run out of the ones that I currently have it's quite good when you buy a full set then just to buy obviously the singles if you can afterwards of the ones that you run out of and yeah I don't know if it's cheaper to do it like that but I mean who wants to buy a whole replacement set or you know if you buy the set of 12 it's not going to be the same 12 colors that you necessarily run out of so this is a set of 12 here, but you're certainly not going to get that in the 12 set. <laughs> so that is what I bought there. Now, the other thing that I bought, which was quite an impulse thing, but also at the same time not an impulse because I've been sort of wanting them for quite a long time, but I've never been able to justify the price of them. And what I got was this beautiful set of pan pastels. Now, I've been really wanting to get some pastels to colour the backgrounds of some of my pieces, especially my coloured pencil pieces, and I also really enjoy colouring and colouring books. And it's very, very difficult with pencils to get a nice, even background. And when I post this up, I think I may have already posted up the video that I just did of the keys and you saw what a mess of the background I made <laughs> and I was really, really wishing that I had some pastels because I generally don't have pastels of any kind. It's just something I've not invested in and I just thought, you know what, I really, really want to try these ones because being in a pan, I figure they're going to be a lot cleaner than some of the plain pastels that you get, which are just a total mess. I did get, this is the one other thing I bought, I just got one of them, I got a Sennelier pastel, it's a soft pastel, and it's number 135 which is in the indigo range, they have, goodness, 500 odd different shades and colours, and it's kind of annoying that they don't seem to actually have the name of the colour, do they? No, they've got the pigment number, so this is basically, goodness me, this is like five pigments, would you believe? This is PB29, which is ultramarine. It's PB5, a colon three, which is thalo blue. It's PB27, which I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. <laughs> PBK1, 
and PBK9. Wow, that's crazy. That's like two blacks and three blues, a mix of. But I just want, wanted to have a really dark indigo color and I'll show you what I do have. I have this box here. We'll open these in a minute. Of very, very messy looking pastels. Let's open it. I've just got them in here. Now, this was a plastic bag that the art shop had that was basically because pastels break all of the time I think they get quite a lot that get damaged and broken and so what they'd done was they'd package them up in a little ziploc bag just all the little pieces and off you know snapped off bits and things that they'd found and it was five bucks for the bag um, but it actually did come with a couple of decent ones so a mostly intact Sennelier color which is very very messy at the moment but it's like a nice sort of peachy pink and another sennelier which is a little bit of a terracotta and if we can see that a bit better in the light there sorry i was a bit shadowed there so i'd had those ones and then it also had a couple of art spectrum ones a titanium white which is anything but at the moment look at the state of that and this one's an ultramarine which this is not as much as you can see there's quite a lot of it's like it's missing quite a bit there <laughs> and then there was just a bunch of random stuff in here there's like an art bar and a semi-hard pastel from someone a couple of those and then just some I mean I couldn't even tell you what that is you know so this is basically my pastel collection which is very sad indeed so I thought I'm going to put these ones, I think because these are the most intact ones, in a separate container because this is just a total disaster zone. But can you see the mess already on me? I mean, these are just such a total mess. I just thought, no, I'm going to go and get some pan pastels. I was contemplating just buying a whole bunch of these guys because they are cheaper to buy than a pan pastel. But... You also have the trade-off that, look at that, as soon as you touch it, it just gets everywhere. But I wanted to have a set, just a nice starting set. And I've heard good things about the pan pastels. So I saw it, it's a set of 20 colours, painting pure colours. And they also had a couple of other sets. One was the extra dark colours and one were the tints, which are like the really uh, light pastel-y colors and when I was looking at the whole range it's actually the same color but they've either lightened it or darkened it so for example this one would have ultramarine in it and in the extra dark they would have like a dark ultramarine and then there's also in the tinted a really light ultramarine and I just thought well why don't I get the base set of probably the purest pigments and then go from there so that's what I'm going to do. I might find a little box and put my other pastels in before I make a total mess and then we'll come back to opening this and we'll open it together on the camera because I have no idea what's in this. I bought it entirely on a whim. I'm really hoping I don't regret it. Okay, well I've just got this little tin that I found. I <clears throat> It had a multi-tool in it, but it will do for now. Just to kind of... <laughs> I really need some foam rubber cutouts to put these in, but they'll do for now just to kind of keep them from rolling. Well, they're going to roll around, but keep them from getting too messy. So I'm just going to put those to one side for now before I destroy them. And let us get into this pan pastels box. Oh, I'm so excited to open it. All right, so it comes with a video tutorial. Professional quality. Highly pigmented, light fast, and low dust. That's what I was kind of thinking would be pretty cool. Contains 20 pan pastels, colours and selection of soft tools. Is it just like the most annoying thing that that's spelled with two Fs? <laughs> French side. Oh, and then I've got it upside down, of course. So let's pivot that around. Let's have a look on the back here. All right. For painting, drawing, and mixed media, pan pastel colours are... Ultra fine artist quality soft pastel colours in a unique pan format. The special qualities of pan pastel colours mean that artists can apply and blend pastel colour like paint. 
easy to use lift color and apply blend layer and apply like paint hmm they're highly pigmented for rich pure colors and a low dust for a cleaner working environment each pan contains approximately 40 percent more pastel color than the average pastel stick yielding approximately four to five times more coverage hmm that's not too bad they're compatible with pencils thank god <laughs> pastel sticks watercolors oh that's interesting because i use a lot of watercolor inks i use a lot of acrylics markers encaustic most art and craft surfaces smooth to high tooth and spray pastel fixatives and finishes in the box here we have 20 pan pastel colors titanium white hansi yellow diarolide yellow yellow ochre orange permanent red red iron oxide magenta violet ultramarine blue phthalo blue turquoise phthalo green permanent green chromium oxide green bright yellow green burnt sienna raw umber black and neutral gray and apparently it also comes with two soft knives 10 soft covers three soft sponges three soft applicators four storage jars which i'm kind of curious about because i'm not too sure what i'm going to put in them yet but let's get this thing open shall we i've just been blathering on for ages let's figure out i don't even know how to open this i'm going to turn it back up the right way and presumably this slides off it's not always the most awkward thing when you're filming and it doesn't want to come off it is not moving at all what am i doing wrong right, i've got it i've got it there we go look and pastel set ah oh, thank you and pastel 20 color set okay Oh goody, I can open this one, I think, without too much effort. Look, ooh, ooh, what have we got in here? Let's have a look. Nice to open. Okay, thank goodness I was really hoping they would actually have the tools in here because I don't have any tools. And I was looking at them, which you can buy separately, and I'm thinking, oh, this is going to cost an absolute fortune. Okay, so we've got a soft applicator sponge. Here's an art sponge. A couple of little tools here. This one and this one. I'm not seeing the sponges that go on there. Ah, look. Look at that. There they are. Here's me getting all upset because I thought I was missing half the stuff. But no, it's actually there. Okay, so. Fun and games. Oops, that's a lid. I don't want anyone to ruin these. Oh my lord, how do I open them? Help, I need an adult. Why don't I pull them out of the box and move the box out of the way? I think that would be our safest bet. Okay, now we've got what looks like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's five colors in a thing and then we've got on the bottom, basically this is where we've got some of the applicators. So these all look exactly like makeup sponges, so I reckon I could probably just go to a $2 shop and just buy a whole bunch of cheapo applicator sponges, because I imagine I'm going to go through these, like, really quickly. <laughs> I'm never going to get it back on again. Are they all the same? That one's got... That's got that sponge. Oh, that's interesting. Hang on a minute. Yeah, okay, so when you pull that off... It only comes with one lid. Oh my god, I need to get some more lids, I think, because really I'd like to keep them separately. Oh, well. we are learning as we go. And it's kind of annoying that those don't have lids. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they're on the bottom. Oh god, I hope these don't fall out. They look just like makeup. They really do, like... Okay, I might have to go through and sort these into colours. Alright, look, there's the thingos for these guys. Alright, let's put them all out. I'm opening them all, just because I need to see them. And then I'm going to sort them into colours. 
because some of them seem to kind of go together and other ones okay this has got a lot of yellows in and that's it that is like super crazy that's that's hansy yellow no way that does not look like hansy yellow that looks like um like a fluoro like a fluoro yellow wow that's crazy interesting what's this one then this is diarolide yeah okay i've got this pigment actually in the dry pigment would you believe and this one would be that uh really bright yellow green okay so these ones go together that's okay lordy me what am i going to do with them all i'm just going to take all the lid off and i'm going to run out of space here very quickly there's one What's this color? Is that the green ox? That's raw umber. Wow. Interesting colors, some of them. They look so different when they're dry. I'm so used to seeing, um, like, watercolor paints and things. And that's titanium white down the bottom. Okay, so that makes sense. These ones make sense. Let's see if I can squeeze them, them all in. I'm going to have to shift those over. Well, I can't possibly put these in a nice, neat order, can I? <laughs> what a mess. And then we've got a very... What's this one? Thalo green. I was going to say emerald green, but yeah, thalo works. Now, these two look pretty close together, don't they? This is thalo blue, so I'm guessing this one have, would have to be ultramarine. Yep. And this one I'm guessing is what? It's a, well, I'm not guessing I'm looking that's a turquoise color that's lovely that's quite blue actually I, I was gonna call it sky blue but yeah okay I can see how it's turquoise and then the other two greens in the set so now I've got to figure out which ones are going to go where and that's the one that's got the little um, makeup sponges I'm gonna call them makeup sponges because that's what they look like and there's a little booklet and the sponge as well so this if I can squeeze them in is everything that came in the kit it's not a bad set I'm kind of glad I bought the the dark indigo because I have a um, idea for that as well I just wanted to get the, the basic colors the primary colors and then sort of go from there because I was just standing there going I have no idea which ones to buy so why not buy a set and in here there's what looks like an instruction sheet and all sorts of goodies so i shall have a read of that in my leisure and my next part is i'm going to just test a few of these out to see what they're like on paper all right because i'm that kind of person i've had to reorganize the colors to how I like them. So this one's basically yellows going into oranges, red and magenta. This one's also a yellow, but this is yellow ochre. This is the earth colors. So I've got my browns, I've got the grays and the black and the white in this one. So this is a bit taller. And I have my greens in this one and blues and a purple in this one. And I'll probably just screw these randomly onto the bottom of various ones. What I'll probably do is take all of the all of these out and put them in maybe one and then use the pots for something else. So I'll work it out as I go along. I'm just trying to work out exactly what I want to do. But that is the set and I thought I'd just have a little swatch of a couple of colours and just see how they work. I've really no idea what I'm doing with these. So the proof will be when I actually do a uh, drawing and use these in the background. But we'll, let's just have a look on some plain paper for now and we'll see what they can do. Okay, so I've just got the turquoise and the phthalo blue and that really, really bright Hansi yellow. And I'll just have a bit of a play around. Uh, I don't know which one to use. I'll use the little one for now. It's just, it's just like taking makeup. <laughs> so can you see that? And I'm just using just a very plain smooth paper here because a lot of coloring books use this kind of paper and I want to be able to use these in my coloring book so that's just having a little bit of a play around 
Wow, they, they're lovely and smooth, I must say. Like every pastel, there's always dust. That's why I've been avoiding using pastels, because they're very dusty. So that's like the turquoise, and that should be okay. I've taken most of it off. Let's try a little phthalo blue. I guess it's going to take me a while to get used to how to use these. Obviously, I can't be amazing at everything straight away. But they do really go on well. I'm just going to have a little go with this one. Ooh, that does smooth that out very nicely. Right, it's just... Put a little bit of yellow. I'll put it on the clean side of the sponge so we don't make a total mess here. Just more to see how well they blend together. There we go. Um, I'll just put it here, I think. Well, my goodness, that is a bright yellow. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll lay it down with this sponge. Wow, it, I see what they mean that it goes a long way. I've barely touched it, you know, I've just rubbed it a little bit and it's put out heaps, which is awesome because hopefully I won't have to buy any more for a long time. And I'll use this one, that's okay, it's got a little bit of blue, but I'm going to blend them together. Interesting. They go well. They go well together. It takes a little bit of rubbing to get that really, really flat colour. But otherwise, I'm quite liking it. What I might do just is put out a little bit of darker colour. Let's put it. Um, let's put it here. And we'll just put a blob there. And being very careful not to contaminate it. I'll put a blob there and we'll bring them in together. Okay. Right. Let's see if we can get a green out of this. Just a little bit more. Okay. Here we go. I may have gone overboard with the thalo because thalo is usually a pretty domineering colour. Alright, I'm going to use this side and just mix it. Whoa. Yeah, you get a pretty good green out of that. That's not bad. I mean, I think probably the actual greens will be a lot nicer than my mix, which you can see the phthalo blue is quite a lot stronger than the yellow, but I'll just give that a bit of a rub around there. You do get that very, very flat look, which is what I have been looking for to put on my uh, drawings and my colouring pages. Now, I just really want to have a little look at the Sennelier one because I bought this today. I like to do like a nice dark background quite often, which is why I went with the indigo. Let's have a look. Wow. All right. Oh my gosh. I can see this is going to be a total mess. Um... What I might do is just try and wipe off the excess. See, look how much there is in that sponge. That's a lot. So I guess I'm not going to run out of these anytime soon. Alright. That's close enough. It shouldn't make too much of a difference. Alright. Yeah, see, look. I'm not very good with um, pastels, but see how when you've just drawn that straight on the page... It's leaving that um, bit of scratchiness and it could well be because it's a brand new pastel as well and it feels just a little bit gritty on the outside so let's just kind of scrape it off a bit I got something I can scrape it with here um, yeah it's kind of a tool <laughs> let's just put a little bit of dust down can I get dust I really don't want to break the pastel all right so I put a little bit of dust down and we'll just rub that in and see how we go. Yeah, see, look, I'm having issues with the sticks. I'm not quite sure that I've quite gotten the hang of using the actual pastel sticks. I really am liking the pan pastels so much more. They're so easy to use. Wow. 
Because look at that, I just can't get rid of it. Let's just give that a bit of a rub. Get some green in it. Now that's that's annoying. <laughs> so I'm glad I only kind of got one pastel stick for the moment because I've just I'm not confident with pastels at all. I know there are some incredible pastel artists out there who are absolute masters with their craft, but I am not one of these people. <laughs> I've got probably got pastel bits and crud all over my hands. But these are fantastic for beginning I think if you especially if you're wanting just to do I think your backgrounds I'm not too sure how they would go with something that's a lot more detailed I mean like if you wanted to draw it but I imagine if you had pastel pencils if you use these in the background and then you used your pastel pencils over the top it's going to look amazing so I'm really excited to use these. Thank you so much for joining me. I've made an absolute mess <laughs> and I'm not entirely sure how to use these fully yet so I need to do my research but I thought you might be interested just to see the unboxing because I'd never unbox these. I didn't know what was inside other than what they'd sent on the packet. I'm really really happy and excited to use these in an actual art project and I will share that when I do one. So thank you so much. I will swatch you later.